Local environmentalists say the new Lake Okeechobee water discharge schedule will greatly reduce the risk of harmful algae blooms on the Treasure Coast moving forward. They say they're also excited, uh, excited about what the new release schedule means for the health of local estuaries in the coming years. Steve King joins us live with why experts say this change by the Army Corps of Engineers is welcome news. Steve? Jade, well, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers put this new water release schedule into place this week after years of working with stakeholders and partner agencies to develop this new plan. And now the Florida Oceanographic Society says they are certain that this is going to greatly reduce the risk of harmful toxic algae blooms on the Treasure Coast moving forward because the water as part of this new schedule most of the time is not going to be released into the St. Lucie River. It's not going to be released any time that the water in Lake Okeechobee is at manageable levels. When in the past, there were regular discharges from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie River, even if there was a toxic algae bloom in Lake Okeechobee, spreading toxic algae to the Treasure Coast, causing issues to people's health and the environment. Florida Oceanographic Society leaders say this new release schedule will also improve the health of the St. Lucie River and surrounding estuaries moving forward, likely allowing the seagrass, oysters, and fisheries to recover in the next year or two. This is a huge, big uh, decision, monumental decision, and many people have been working on it for over five, you know, five years here, and this is really, really important that we finally got this uh, new schedule, and it went into effect immediately, so we're excited about that. Now water is only going to be released into the St. Lucie River from Lake Okeechobee if Lake Okeechobee is at dangerously high levels. And also experts say that this new water release schedule is going to be beneficial for the health of Lake Okeechobee itself as well as the Everglades. Reporting live, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.